Hello Aries, this is your uh, January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Aries individuals, so keep that in mind, but this is for Aries. January 2019. January 2019 Aries. Hope your uh, December went well. Let's see what the incoming energies are for Aries. The devil in the upright. Someone's feeling a little obsessive, feeling like you can't let things go, feeling chained to a certain situation. They have all these meanings, the devil in the upright. Sometimes it represents addictions, but that's the incoming energy. Not necessarily yours. It could be just people around you also. But i got to find out for sure. Let's find out. Getting defensive, taking on, getting on top of things, taking control. That is the seven of wands in the upright. What's crossing it is uh, you may have to cut some things out with the ace, with the ace of swords in the, in, that's crossing it. The goal, you're trying to come out of hermit mode. You don't want to be held under. You don't want to be thinking about things all the time. You just want to get out and get going and get things done. Foundation, you feel like you didn't get things offered to you that you needed to have offered to you. You feel like maybe things just went amok in some ways. In the past, you didn't feel like growth was occurring. You feel like things were stagnant. You feel like Partition didn't happen in your life. In your future, something comes out. Something that was was kept from you. And you may think you may think that it was kind of sneaky. You may think that someone was deceiving you. But I'll clarify these in a minute. I want to use this deck. Because it's one I'm familiar with. And I want to get this right, but this is the Seven of Wands. We're going to start out with the subject at hand. You have the Ace of Swords crossing it, taking control and cutting things out. Why are you there for Aries in January 2019? Aries, January 2019. Yeah, you're, you're going to contemplate it, you got to think about it, and you may do it. Because you thought about it for a while. And there's again a hermit in reverse, trying to come out of hermit mode, doesn't want to think about it, don't want to think about it, do not want to keep to yourself. Not even going to contemplating on it as much as you think you are. Even though at first you may think about it, you may say, uh-uh, I'm cutting something out. Goal, the hermit mode in reverse, coming out of the shadows, not thinking to yourself, like I said, going out more. The hermit as the goal in reverse, why are you there for Aries? You want a happy home, a happy situation, your surroundings to be happy with the four wands and the upright. Can I get another card? Even though at times you feel like it's hopeless, you're going for it. Ace of Disc in reverse is the foundation. Why are you there? This is things not being offered to you. And that may be why you're cutting things out. Ace of Disc in reverse. Why are you there? Oops, for Aries. Yeah, you weren't happy with the situation. You didn't get an offer. It could have to do with the King of Cups. The King of Cups can be a water sign or someone taking on an energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. In the past, you feel like things didn't grow within yourself or things around you. You feel like you didn't get fruition. You didn't feel like you didn't get blessings. It's the Emperor in reverse. It also could be for very, very few of you that there was a missed uh, pregnancy. Something didn't occur. You, maybe you wanted a family for some of you. And it didn't happen. But it's only for very few of you. The Empress in reverse. Why are you there for Aries? Messages weren't received very well. And sometimes the messages may have been abrupt. That's the Page of Wands in reverse. It's also like a messenger or a younger person, <clears throat> like a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be you that's feeling this way, because you are Aries. 
where you're dealing with another Aries. But it could be that you yourself, your messages are coming across very harsh and you're trying to lift a burden. Now in the very near future, you're going to be dealing with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Sometimes this means breaking free also. It also can mean things coming out that you need coming out with. You need to sit there and, and express yourself more. Maybe you were hiding something, um, not necessarily in a harsh way, just protecting yourself. And you need to keep something under wraps. But it looks like you're going to be breaking free from that and coming more open with people and starting to collaborate with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in reverse while you're there. Three of Pentacles is in the upright. It's a good card in the uprights. Collaboration. Yeah, because before that you didn't do a lot of give and take. These are the Y cards <clears throat> here. And it's like you're breaking free. You're coming out with stuff. You may be telling people about yourself and collaborating more where before you did not. And that's highly, highly likely that's what it is. Vice card or a possible future outcome. You may be dealing with the queen of disc in reverse. I got to know more about her before I can tell you about her too much. All I can tell you is that she is an earth element. She's a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. She feels reversed. She feels like doesn't feel very stable and secure in this situation with you. Or this could be your energy and you're just feeling this way. Queen of Disc in reverse. Why are you there? What is the advice? What is the outcome here? Her possible future outcome. Dealing with more than one person. Queen of Wands. This also could be you trying to take on your crown. And maybe people around you that don't feel like that you can. Queen of Wands is in the upright. It's uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As you know, this could be your energy. Can I get another card for Aries for January 2019? Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of you is maybe the universe telling you to put on that crown, even though before you did not feel secure. And you feel like the money is not there making you as stable as you would want. But you're on the right path, okay? You're on the right path with the Queen of Wands in the upright. So it's coming towards you. Again, it's going to be an earth element. This could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It also could be messages again, messages of money, messages of finances, messages of security. Like I said, it also could be an earth element. But why is the Princess of Disc coming towards Aries in January 2019? The Sun. Maybe this person wants to make you an offer, but maybe they're afraid you will not accept it or be happy with it. Can I get another card for the Princess of the Disc and the Sun in reverse? Oops, something's trying to come out. Yeah, they think you won't accept it. Someone may try to offer you something, but you may feel like they don't have experience or enough know-how to give you this offer. And they may feel that you think this way and will not accept an offer from them. So whoever this is, think upon them and see what they're trying to offer you. Hopes and fears. You're afraid that you do not uh, put arguments to rest. You're afraid that they'll continue. That's what the Five of Swords are arguments. It's beyond defeated. Um, usually there's a winner or there's a loser, but you're feeling that you just don't want to deal with the arguments. Five of Swords, why are you there? Maybe you had some a few arguments over, you know, you don't want to argue with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or someone taking on that energy. Then maybe you just don't want to fight with this person. No matter what they have to offer, you don't want to fight with them. Maybe you're fearing to fight with them. And you're feeling that uh, things may come out with them. Maybe when you expose a certain situation in your life, maybe you're afraid they will not accept it very well. And you're not willing to argue over it, though. Outcome. Maybe they'll accept it. This is a Prince of Swords. A Prince of Swords is in the upright again. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or someone taking on an energy. It's someone who, who is in the upright. So your fears may be unwarranted. You may be just worrying too much with the Prince of Swords, how, the, how this air energy or whatever this person is, is, is feeling towards you. This person is going to be okay with whatever you're going to bring out to them. Prince of Swords, why are you there in the upright? Why are you there as the outcome for Aquarius? 
It could be a, for a few of you, you're taking on this energy. There it is again, King of Swords. You're definitely dealing with the air energy. They're in the upright. And then and there it is. They may they may the words may come a little you may be afraid of their words. And the words may be a little sharp, but I do not see this as a, a terrible thing, the ace of swords like cutting out or something. Sometimes it is. But I see it with two people that are in the upright. I feel like the sword of truth is coming out that someone is having their saying they will accept what you're having to offer. Can I get another card for the ace of swords and the king of swords and the prince of swords a lot of air energy they're in the upright now sometimes the swords energy it could sting a little but it is in the upright and it, it does eventually have the crown put in that sword it is the sword of truth of, of righteousness so can i get another card for all these swords energy just one more for aries yeah, you're not going to see that coming either. You're going to think they're going to judge against you, but they're not. They're not going to see this coming, and you're not going to see them coming, accepting what you have to offer. Five of Cups in reverse, possibly coming out of disappointment at the end. Letting those uh, disappointed cups go, letting that energy go, and starting to move on from whatever was bothering you. Something was be different for everyone. You can leave it in the comments. But I do feel that you're breaking free more and you're becoming more yourself. I think you're going to... Some, someone also may be trying to offer you something, but they're afraid you may not accept it. And maybe you won't. Don't know for sure. Everybody's different. But in the end, it's more like you're just worrying too much. You're coming out with something. You want to tell people more about yourself. You want the collaboration. You want them to accept you. And they may. They may very well accept you. You're coming out of disappointment with the Five of Cups in reverse. I don't feel like you're going to be worrying so much. I just don't. So as you're reading Aries, I'm letting this go. And I will read again probably mid-January. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.